Is there to be a big inquest, we hear? A UK inquest? Or is it just a small inquest? A hearsay inquest? Welcome to Aldon's Reviews and True Crime. So what do you think, Rosie? Rosie's been sheared. She's looking good. She's got her ideas. And we've got our ideas. We may as well have puppies doing the inquest. Because I fear that this isn't going to be much of an inquest. Tell me, are the phones all finally being checked? We have Lucy's phone to check, don't we? Her statement, first of all, was a, a wishy-washy type statement where she said so much. She made up a GoFundMe straight away. It involved everything on there, like he'd gone missing. He'd only been missing for half a day, but it listed the whole caboodle, and it was set at 35,000. It has surpassed this by double, more than double, and it's still carrying on. We hear the press are invited to the funeral. Are they paying into it? Too right they are. All the interest and everything else, it's all been paid for about two, three, four times over. So why are they asking for more money? Why have they set up yet another GoFundMe? The GoFundMe originally was to search for Jay Slater. This was all paid for anyway. The next GoFundMe we hear, it was amended to bring Jay back. He was brought back and paid for. Now we have a new one. I don't know what the new one's all about. Maybe it is for the family, I don't know. But they need to say so and come clean. This inquest needs to come clean. As I say about the phones, all the phones, Ahab's statement of Jay arrived at the B&B alive and he left the B&B alive. What an odd thing to say, first of all. Why would Jay walk upwards towards the mountains? Why would he go to, uh, it was a very, very quiet out in the mountains, Airbnb. It was just so, so quiet. So there wasn't a second party there. There wasn't anything going on. Rocky was already asleep in the car. Ahab wanted to get his head down. So it was just a slumber fest. So he was only there about an hour and a half. And he decided to walk off upwards into the mountains with a knife or two knives on him. So forgive us, online social media, for making our own conclusions. But it was all just wishy-washy. He jumped off the cliff, the ravine. Uh, the autopsy, there was two different autopsies. There was a UK autopsy where it was decided he just died of a head injury. The Guardia Seville autopsy before that, that was broken bones and a head injury. He would have to have climbed up the cliff to jump 500 feet off to get all those broken bones. The ravine was a very short ravine and it had cactus and some greenery, some grubbery down there. You would be lucky even to have that sort of head injury. The head injury we hear was a rear head injury. Can anyone put that in the comments? Find out, I'm not totally sure on that, but a rear head injury, like a blow to the head? Uh, how did he fall? How would he hit his head, the back of his head? Did he fall off backwards? May have done. Was it a frontal injury? We don't know these sort of things. Any toxicology report apparently is quite simple to get one of those from the body. But was there one? No, there wasn't. So we don't know whether he was poisoned, first of all. What type of drug was in his system? Was alcohol in his system? What do you think, Rosie? What, what do you actually think? Because this is very, very suspicious, isn't it? Go and have a think. So what do you think? Put in the comments. The funeral is as we speak tomorrow. Today is Friday. Now, another strange thing that has happened. Ahab, he said he was a friend. So doesn't he care? He's having a barbecue the same day as a funeral. So wouldn't he be going to the funeral to show his respects with Rocky, Lucy and all the others? No, he's having a barbecue in his back garden. Is Ahab still trying to sell his uh, cryptocurrency and trying to make people pay for some information and talking to Brandon? Brandon's bruises apparently are all healed. And 
I was so suspicious when Brad had his little interview on TV and he did have a black eye. It was very red there, it was a red ring. Now I'm told this is about 11 days after Jay went missing, that's 11 days. Now that would tie up with a big bruise healing to a red mark. It was said that Brandon was very, very protective of Jay and he tried to protect him, look out for him. Jay was a bit wayward with his attitude and movements. He was into to, to, to talking to people and just talking to random strangers. We also had in the nightclub the pictures CCTV. It looked very much like Tom Hilton was there. Remember Tom Hilton? Now he was beaten with a machete, a golf club. I gather there was a hammer as well involved. And Jay and his friends, previously almost beaten to death, they left him for dead and said, he's gone. So I'll keep my eye out for this inquest, this big inquest before the funeral or after the funeral? Or is it like an half an hour thing and it's already been done? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out what they're actually doing. The first thing I would do, as I said, I would gather up all the mobile phones of the suspected parties. I would still look at those. If they've got rid of them, it's very suspicious, isn't it? If they've done that. But don't give them warning, just go and get the phones. Do we know, put in the comments, was Jay's phone actually found. We're hearing that Jay's phone was found and it was wiped and there were zero, zero photographs on that phone. I was told there was the one photograph of him holding the cigarette and looking at his feet, his very small feet with a blanket over him. The blanket from Lucy's apartment. But if Jay's phone wasn't found, that is so, so suspicious because it would be where he fell off. It would be on a ledge somewhere or at the bottom. It would be somewhere in his bag that he had over his shoulder. It would be there, in there. So it wouldn't go missing somewhere, would it? Unless the authorities are hiding something and I've already said, was the body dropped down on a wire, wire helicopter at 2 a.m when we heard the notion of all the animals, the goats, the dogs, being set off because this helicopter, which makes a lot of noise at 2 a.m. Will we ever know? I don't think we'll ever, ever know. And it's one of those mysteries. And it will carry on and on and on. And it will be suspicious, probably forever. But hey, let's be grateful for our lives. And remember, please, wouldn't you say, Rosie? Please, please, be careful out there and don't have nightmares.